You're welcome to SB Frequency Events. My name is Ade Dunke Gominar, and today I'm going to be taking you through how to connect your DJI Pocket 2 or Pocket 3 for live streaming on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah, so the DJI Pocket 2 and 3 is the new rave in town right now and everybody's getting it because it's actually cheaper and affordable compared to getting the equivalent kind of camera that is professional that is actually giving you professional video quality. By professional video quality, I mean that a camera that can shoot at 4K and 60 FPS. Yes, the DJI Pocket 2, Pocket 3, it's actually a um, very good one that you can buy. It's not like it's actually cheap, right? It's over like a million naira, but compared to the other cameras like the Sony, Panasonic, you know, those other professional cameras that can give you 4K quality, right? It's actually cheap compared to those cameras. So, and apart from that, it's a very handy camera. You want to travel, you know, you are on vacation or you are on a flight or you're at work, you want to showcase what you do or you are a content creator, you know, and so on and so forth, right? The DJI is really handy and you can just have that in your bag without anybody harassing you saying that, oh, we don't allow professional cameras here, right? Presently now, as I'm talking to you, we're actually shooting with a Pocket 2 right now, right? And you can see how sharp and clean my video quality is. So let's get right into it. So here I have the DJI Pocket 2 for my illustration and I'm going to be connecting with the DJI Mimo on my phone, which is already installed. As um, most of you know, before you can use your DJI Pocket 2 or Pocket 3, you have to go to the DJI website and download the application of the DJI, which is the DJI Mimo. And once you've done that and you have that installed on your phone, then you'll be able to sync your phone with the um, DJI Pocket 2 or the DJI Pocket 3. So right now I am already in and for me to be able to live stream, I need to go to the option here which says live stream. So once I am in live stream, it says select live stream platform. I have the options here to connect through Facebook or YouTube or RTMP. Now, for the purpose of this video, we'll be showing you how to connect through the RTMP. Why? Why are we not connecting directly to Facebook or YouTube? The reason is, if I connect to Facebook or YouTube, I would have to log in directly to the Facebook app. So that means that once I click on it, it's going to take me to link my DJI Mimo app directly to Facebook. Now, in this part of the world, Africa and all over the world, anything can happen. Your phone can be stolen or it can be hacked or anything can happen. So that means that um, you are going to be giving DJI Mimo app the permission on your Facebook or on your YouTube. So even if you feel that you have um, blocked your Facebook or your YouTube in case if your phone is stolen, Right. Um, once they have access to the DJI Mimo app, they can still access your Facebook or your YouTube. So um, the um, safest way and the easiest way most people connect is by using the RMTP method. So that's what we're going to be using to connect both Facebook and YouTube. So right now I come to my option of R RTMP and I click on it and I click on start live stream settings. So it says preparing live stream and it's, it gives me these options how to connect camera to network. So I can keep scrolling and I click on start live streaming. So right now um, on my screen of my um, DJI it's saying preparing to live stream. So I'm going to wait for it till it's done. And after that, it opens up this screen for me. So you have to make sure that on the screen, it has that um, gray screen where it's showing you phone live streaming. Then also on your app, you can see it here. So please, you have to note 
that once you click on that, that um, blue icon, you leave your phone till it brings you to this screen where we are right now. So the first option I have here is select network. Now, this select network is the area where I'm going to be connecting my Wi-Fi internet to, right? So um, because for me to be able to live stream, I need to be connected to the internet. So I'm going to be doing that and it will show me the, um, the options of the internet I have here to connect to. Okay, so I have to connect to the network now. And as I click on select network, you can see it shows me the options of the internet I have. The um, Wi-Fi I have for my internet is SB frequency. So I'm gonna click on that. And in case if you have not synced your phone before, it's gonna ask you for the password of your of your internet so you should have that handy and you should be ready to type that in so i it's always advisable to use a network password that is easy to remember okay so he says unable to join network um please try again so in case if it gives you that error you keep trying so okay right now he's asking me for the password which i'm going to type so I have my password um, typed in and let's wait for it to connect. So I've been able to um, link my um, Wi-Fi with the um, DJI. So the next thing you can see here is enter RTMP URL. So for that to happen, I need to go to my laptop now. I need to go to YouTube. So let's start with YouTube. So if I'm gonna connect YouTube first to my DJI for live streaming, um, I have to go to my YouTube and schedule a um, live stream. I have to go to my um, YouTube and get the RTMP URL. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. So right now on my laptop here, I'll click on create on the screen over here. And I click on go live. So once I do that, it's going to take me to a page where I'm going to create the um, live stream. So I like to go to manage here because that way I can set up how the live stream should be, all the details that, are, that I need during my live stream. So I click on schedule stream and these are the details. So I'm going to type in some of the details here. So the first one is title, which is required. I have to test, I have to type that and let's call that test and the description you'd write what your streaming should be about how do you want to go live streaming software what category are you streaming on education um, whichever category it is that you're streaming about then a thumbnail if you have one you can select a playlist if you have any other thing you want to set up under that you can click on show more and you can set up how your life all the details of your live stream then we go to next for people that are monetized um, you can turn on your monetization if you want to like that and i click on next now the next thing is i'm going to be if you want your live chat to be shared while you're streaming live you click on this live chat replay meaning as people watch after the stream they want to see the, your live chat now, please, um, this video is not to teach you how to set this up because normally if you use YouTube for um, to actually post videos and all this, these are the options you see when you're even posting videos or when you're streaming live with a normal webcam camera. So what we're focused on is how to use the DJI to live stream. So that's the reason why I'm not going into all the details. And we go to the next option now this next option now is visibility so um for the purpose of this video i'm going to make this unlisted because i don't want everybody to see what we're doing because we're just test running this so but when you are live streaming you're meant to click on public so that everybody can see um your video once it goes live now for the purpose of people that want to stream later on or to few people you can click on unlisted and you can share that link with just certain people so it's only people with the link that will be able to watch the live stream video so also for um schedule you can you can schedule a particular date 
or when you want to live stream. So meaning that you can have this set up. Okay, so after I have this done, I click on done. And um, as you can see, it's um, preparing my live stream. Let's actually try another setting. So this time around, I want to change my um, latency, which is my stream latency to ultra low so that all low latency so that as I'm doing things here real time, it's actually happening real time on my live stream. Now, this is important for people that when you're live streaming, you need people to actually ask you questions on the go. So you want it to actually be that, that your questions are coming real time to the people that are watching you and there's no latency, there's no delay between the video here and what's going on on the live stream. Now we're going to be clicking on low latency. And also I can make my enable auto start. So once I click enable auto start, I don't need to click on go live. Once this actually goes live and I start the stream, it's going to pick it instantly. And I can also click on auto stop. Auto stop means that once this software, um, YouTube Studio stops um, receiving video stream, it's going to stop the live stream automatically. So you can also do that. So right now I've been able to um, set this up. It keeps popping up these things, like teaching me what to do. So right here now I have my um, stream key and I have the stream URL. So first thing I would do is to copy my stream URL, which is here. And I click on copy and I paste it on a notepad somewhere. And I paste that. And after I pasted that here, let me make this bolder for you to see. Yeah, so I have this pasted here. Then after this, I'm going to put a slash, right? I'm going to put a slash. Please, you must not miss this. If not, this link isn't going to work. So I'm going to put a slash. Then I come back to this page and I now copy the stream key. So I click here and I click on copy and let's actually view it. So that's the stream key. Then I come here and I paste that stream key after the slash. So once I'm done with this, I copy everything that I have here. I copy it and I paste it on any app. I'm using WhatsApp in this case because I have that link to my phone so that I can copy that link on my phone. So I click on this and I send it to my phone. So right now I have it on my phone and on my phone, I copy the link. Now make sure that when you are copying the link, you copy everything I, I have pasted here because if you can see, it actually left out the first RTMP when I was trying to copy. But right now you have to make sure that everything in that link is copied. If not, it won't work. So I copy that and I go back here and I paste that link over here. So right now I have that here. Then also for the resolution, I'm going to choose 1080p UHD because I want it to have a good resolution. On the stream quality, I'm going to choose HD, right? Because I, I want it to be clean and clear. Then I'm also going to choose the option of save to SD card so that in case if I need to go back to the file, Note that if you don't click this after your live stream, the video is not going to be saved to your physical DJI memory. So you have to do that. Then I click on start live stream. So as you can see, let's go back here to our live stream. So let's wait for it to go live. And as you can see, I didn't have to click on um, go live. It actually went live instantly. Let me try and share the link. I'm going to copy the live stream right now and come to my browser and paste it. So I see, um, and we can see here. So skip. And it's loading. And as you can see right now, I am actually live, right? I'm actually live on the video. So this is actually important when you're live streaming on YouTube. So that's it for today. Please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel 
and follow us on all our social media platforms. We're on Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter, etc. And also make sure you share this video with everyone so that we can keep spreading this um, knowledge that we're giving you. Also, for your media installations, you can also contact us at SB Frequency Events. We're into media installations, sound, lights, LED screens, video cameras, ETC. We can help you with consultation, with installation, with equipment purchase. Also, we have training courses running on a media installations, on, on an audio setups. We have various courses. So you can contact us either through WhatsApp or through phone calls. Our numbers are on all our social media platforms. So please feel free to contact us for our services. So till when next we see, this is SB Frequency Events. I am Ade Dunkegomina. Bye.